Hey Splashers, welcome back to the channel and today we're diving into the world of Kung Fu Panda 4, a movie that's been on the radar of fans for years. With the bar set high by its predecessors, did it manage to deliver? Let's find out. For those who might be new to the franchise, Kung Fu Panda has been a beloved series since its first release in 2008. It's known for its blend of humor, heartwarming moments, and of course, some kick-ass Kung Fu action. But with three successful movies in the bag, the question on everyone's mind was, could Kung Fu Panda 4 live up to the hype? Creating a quartet to a well-loved series is no small feat. The creators had the tough job of keeping the story fresh while staying true to the essence of the characters we've all grown to love. Not to mention the pressure of meeting the sky-high expectations of fans. In Kung Fu Panda 4, we see Poe facing new challenges and exploring deeper aspects of his personality. While the storyline does bring in some new elements, it begs the question, does it do enough to stand out from its predecessors, or does it feel like a rehash of the same old formula? The story feels like it's already happened before in this franchise. Poe is finding his way once again, but this time he is supposed to transition from the dragon warrior to a spiritual leader. He is stubborn to accept this new role that is laid in front of him by Master Shifu. The new potential recruits to be dragon warriors were more of Cirque de Soleil performers than what you would envision of the dragon warrior. I don't blame Poe for not wanting to relinquish his position as the dragon warrior. These characters were not it. Much of the scenery in this movie was very similar to the film that you've already seen and experienced over and over in the past three films. More than halfway through Kung Fu Panda Part 4, you finally see Poe in a new setting exploring a new city, which was desperately needed. Also, the Furious Five is not featured in Part 4. Do you feel that those characters should have been in Part 4? I do. Although I was appreciative of the more intimate time with Poe, the movie is a little bit slow developing for my liking. One of the scenes that really stood out to me was a big brawl that breaks out in the middle of a hole in the wall tavern, and there there are quite a few characters involved and I will say that this fight is fast paced and dynamic. I was excited watching this scene and it kept my interest. Before this scene and after this scene, well, not so much. <laughs> Overall, Kung Fu Panda 4 is a decent addition to the franchise. It has moments of fun and excitement, but does it reach the heights of the previous films? No, it doesn't. It's just okay. I would rate Kung Fu Panda 4 a solid C. It's worth watching for the fans, but it might not leave a lasting impact like the others did. But hey, that's just my take on it. What do you think of Kung Fu Panda 4? Did it live up to your expectations or were you left wanting more? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you have any other movies you'd like me to review, let me know. Thanks Splashers for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more movie reviews and discussions. And until next time, keep on watching.